Hey viewers, I got something I think you're going to enjoy today. Um, I bought this Raleigh Team USA bike. This is not a real Team USA racing bike, but it came out um, at the time that Raleigh was sponsoring the uh, USA team and uh, kind of like a reproduction, but a little bit cheaper. It's still a real cool bike. And I decided this is going to be a nice foundation to do some really cool upgrades. And so I'm gonna, over a series of videos, I'm going to upgrade this bike. But the first upgrade I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out these 27 inch wheels and install 700 C wheels, which are the more current uh, wheels. Uh, 27 inch used to be the standard for sport bikes, but these days it's 700 C. They're very similar in size. The 700 C are just very slightly smaller in diameter wheels. Um, but the advantage is, for 700C wheels is you're going to have a larger variety of tires available and the newer wheels are skinnier and you can uh, do all kinds of neat uh, things with the new wheels and which is going to come into play in some of the upgrades I'm going to do in the future. So, but upgrading from 27 inch to 700C wheels is actually not that difficult and so that's what I'm going to do. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just swap out the, the, the wheels. I have a pair of 700C wheels. Um, this has got a six speed freewheel on it. And to keep things simple, I'm gonna stay with a six speed freewheel on the back. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, you can see uh, an upgrade from six speed to seven speed and is installing STI shifters, all this stuff. But I'm gonna keep things just very basic today in just a straightforward upgrade from 27 to 700 C wheels. So I'm staying with the six speed. They, they should just clamp right on. They've got this, they should have like the same hub width Now I have the new uh, 700C wheels clamped on here. Now the main th th problem you're going to encounter going from 27 inch to 700C is the brakes. Since the 700C wheels are a smaller diameter wheel, the, the brakes, the brake pads are going to need to come down in order to hit the rim. Now it's possible that the brakes that you have on your bike might be able to uh, be lowered. These, I think, actually could be lowered to hit the rim, but if your brakes don't come down low enough to hit the rim, you're gonna need to swap out your brakes with long reach brakes. And these probably will fit, but I actually bought some uh, long reach brakes that are actually a better quality brake, Shimano brake, and I'm gonna go ahead and install those. I'm gonna show you how those are installed. Now before I install the new brakes, I need to remove the old brakes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the cable there. And then there's a little Allen uh, screw thing on the back here. And this is I think five millimeter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. I pull this off. And then I have the, the new brake here. So let's slide this on. And I've got the nut in the back here. And just tighten this on. Like this, get it started. And get that tightened down. Though I'll probably need to adjust this uh, from side to side. Now same thing with this. I'll just go ahead and cut the brake cable there. And then there's a little nut in the back here. And so I'll go ahead and remove that. And 
and there and push this nut out there like that and here's the front brake and the front brake has a longer bolt on it than the rear brake the rear brake has a shorter bolt and the reason is that the front brake has to go all the way through the fork which is a longer uh, distance than on the rear brake which just has to go through a smaller tube so tighten this on here get started by hand and get this tightened down like this and again I'll probably have to adjust this side to side okay we want to uh, adjust the brake pads here so I have it just a little loose uh, push the brake pad into the rim and we want it the brake surface to land flat on the rim but not touching the tire that's very important you do not want to have it touching the tire so come in and you can kind of push this, slide this down and you want the front edge up here of the brake pad to hit very slightly before the back part. So you want it just very slightly toe in. So just to get it down to where it's going to land. You want it flat on the surface this way but then just like slightly toe in. Um, and you do not want it hitting the tire so like this and you get in position then go ahead and tighten it down and just go ahead and adjust all the brake pads just the same way as this one I need to remove the old brake cable from here so I can just pull this housing off and push this down and pull the old brake cable out. Now I'm going to install a brand new brake cable. Um, what I'm going to do is first feed it up through the top of the brake here. There we go. Pull this up. And then I've got the little uh, end part here of the brake cable. Pull that up slide this down into the handle and there's a little cable stop in here and I'll get that caught on the cable stop right there like that and to keep things relatively simple I'm going to go ahead and reuse the brake cable housing um, I plan on replacing this in a future video anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as is for right now and then just feed that down through the brake like that now I need to hook up and adjust the cable the easiest way to do that is take this uh, barrel adjuster here and loosen this by about four full turns so just loose turn one two three, four. And now I've got the, the uh, little uh, cable clamp on the back here. I have it lo loosened to slide the cable down through here. And pull it through. Get this little adjuster all the way down like this. And take the, uh, the brake pads push them tight up against the rim like this and pull the cable tight Again, make sure that's down and then tighten the uh, cable clamp like this now take this uh, barrel adjuster and then tighten it back down and it helps if you guys push the uh, the pads back against the rim, hold them there. It takes uh, a little bit of pressure off there. Tighten that down. And so now, when I tighten you know, like this, the brake pads go there, and I can adjust this back out a little bit as I need to, so where I get the, the right amount of tightness on there. That's pretty good. And make sure that this is 
clamp down nice on there like that. That works pretty good. Now once you have the uh, brake pad, the brakes hooked up, um, you want to test them and make sure that both brake pads are coming in evenly on each side. Um, if they're not, then what you're going to need to do is adjust the brakes uh, to left or right by loosening the little bolt that we tightened on uh, at the beginning. Just loosen it, turn the brake just a little bit one direction or the other, and then tighten it back down again until they're hitting nice and evenly. But these are hitting uh, pretty, pretty nicely there. Now I'll just cut a little bit off of uh, here, leave about an inch, inch and a half of uh, cable here. Cut that off there. Take a little crimp end, put it on here, and tighten that on nice and tight. Okay, front brake's all done. Now on to the rear brake. Now again, I'm going to replace the uh, cable here. I've already pulled the cable out of here. So I'll feed the new cable up in through here. There we go, up here. Feed it up into the cable housing. And then just push that up through there like this. Take the little cable end here. Push this down till it gets caught into the little cable stop inside the, the shift lever there. And then pull the cable tight there. Now the old brake had the uh, little connector over on this side, but this one has on this side, so I'm going to bring the cable housing on this side. And again, I'm going to loosen this by about uh, three or four full turns. One. Two, I'm just going to do three. Slide the cable down through here, like this. I'll loosen the little cable clamp here a little bit. Slide the cable down through there, like this. And I want this lever down. Pull the cable tight, push the brake pads tight against the rim, pull the cable tight, and then I'm going to tighten this clamp like that. Then I take the uh, barrel adjuster, tighten that back in a little bit, test the, uh, the brake lever. I can tighten that back in a little bit. It's working pretty well. And then check uh, left, right, make sure that it, it's hitting evenly. And that's actually hitting pretty evenly too. So I don't need to adjust that either. And cut the cable off about inch, inch and a half down below the brake. Put a crimp end on. And crimp that down nice and tight like that. There you go. And there it is, my Raleigh Teen USA bike with 700C wheels on there. And that's just the first of many upgrades. Um, I did not replace the brake cable housings because I plan on replacing those in an upcoming video because um, I'm going to replace the uh, brake levers all as well. And uh, I can put some uh, new tires on this, but I'm probably going to go ahead and put some uh, different wheels on here anyway with an upcoming uh, upgrade. Anyway, that is how you replace 27 inch wheels with 700C wheels. I hope that helped. I hope you found this interesting. If you found this interesting or useful, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos and it helps me out. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. You can click the big yellow subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. And I'm always coming out with new videos. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.